Breaking news, guys. Breaking, breaking, breaking news. Agate to United. Deal done. Here we go. Confirmed. Fabrizio obviously has just posted this now. We did talk about this last night, so tune into that show. But Manchester United have officially confirmed that they will be signing Manuel Agate, as according to Fabrizio Romano. So let's read the tweet. But before we get into it, remember to like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Guys, follow us on Twitter. We are at smash the notification button, etc., etc. But as you can see here, Manuel Agate, Manchester United, here we go. Deal seal between clubs after personal terms agreed in July, way back in July. 50 million fixed fee plus 10 million add-ons will be final package. Agate will travel to Manchester as he only wanted United and United only wanted him. Deal done. Now, I think it's interesting that, I mean, because that's what, 60 million euros? So that's what, 50 million? I mean, you could say effectively PSG have recuperate. I think PSG spent, I think, 60 million euro or 60 million pounds. I'm not entirely sure. Someone correct me in the, in the comments. But, you know, I, I just think, as PSG giant said, yeah, that's it. it's crazy that PSG having bought this player only a season ago, wanted to have the same value for the player again. I, I just think that's crazy. Um, but we, we but we, we made it. And obviously, we need to get the midfield in. It was a priority. We got the, the signing. I suspect, and obviously, Fabrizio has confirmed, I think. And I think if we just go back, um, we'll scroll up again. He obviously says, yeah, he's retweeted it again, saying it's the final package. Here we go, and so on. So Fabrizio does this. Um Man Manchester United never sent bids for any other midfielder than Manuel Garte. I had a feeling that was the case. We were only interested in him. He's always been option number one, two, and three. United as considered perfect for the midfield. United never left talks also because the guy from PSG they only wanted to play for Manchester United. So we're always going to focus on getting him. Although I expect if we're always going to pay the 60 million, which is why don't we just pay it? But maybe it's just the add on thing. Maybe the one up front. I don't know. But what, more importantly, well, in addition to it, Napoli and Manchester United are completing Scott McTominay deal today. Manchester United are uh, prepared to authorise Scott McTominay still waiting on final prompts. 30 million package for some So, effectively, I think these two deals were obviously going to be linked. And obviously, you know, you may be able to get McTominay deal for 30 million um, for, for Napoli and you've been able to get for 60 million. So, really and truly, given one midfoot, one midfoot out, you've only really paid 30 million for um, Agate, so, which, I think is, which I think is fair. Um, but yeah, I think this is obviously really good news. Um, it'd be interesting to see, obviously, how Agati incorporates. Is he going to be available for Liverpool? Hopefully, but you know, maybe after this rush break, I don't know. Um, we'll obviously be doing a best starting level show and seeing how this fits because Agati is probably going to come into the midfield. He's probably going to come in as a replacement for Casemiro with Manu being allowed to be more more of a aggressive midfielder going forward, I would imagine. But yeah. I'm happy about this. I'm glad that we got the deal done um, finally, you know, and I don't anticipate United making any more transfers. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on below, guys. Agata to United, deal done. Have a nice day, everyone, and cheers. Peace.